All of these are good reasons to live, but the most important reason is you are loved and you are worth living. I believe that reality is composed of one substance and that substance is matter. That no reality exists outside of the one that you and I are immersed in right now. I guess in, uh, in short and simple, I believe in the very physical, material, natural world and that's it. The world is like a ride at an amusement park. And when you choose to go on it, you think it's real because that's how powerful our minds are. I would say that um, the point is, is that it is real. You know, I want to live because I exist, because this planet exists, because other people exist, because it's real, it's tangible. I can reach out and touch it, I can see it with my eyes, I can hear it with my ears, I can taste it with my tongue, I can smell it with my nose. I can experience and take part in reality. I am an active participant in existence. Life is real. That cannot be said about the immaterial, the non-physical, and that which does not exist. But what about pain? What about suffering? You might ask. What about death? I'm gonna I'm gonna quote uh, one of my other my my favorite philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche, where he says, "For those who see a corpse and would like to say, life is refuted, only you are refuted, and your eyes which see only one aspect of existence. For those who have endured hardships, who would like to say, life is only suffering." I again will respond with a quote by Friedrich Nietzsche, saying. To those human beings who have any concern to me, I wish suffering, desolation, sickness, ill-treatment, indignities. I wish that they should not remain unfamiliar with profound self-contempt, the torture of self-mistrust, the wretchedness of the vanquished. I have no pity for them, because I wish them the only thing that can prove today whether one is worth anything or not, that one endures. And for those nihilists who would like to point to the futility of existence saying, what's the point? Uh, remember the example that uh, Albert Camus and the Greece gave us of Sisyphus forced to eternally roll a boulder to the top of a hill only to, you know, only for that boulder to roll back to the base of the hill. A meaningless, sometimes painful task. But imagine Sisyphus happy, rolling the boulder up to the top with a smile on his face. In doing this, has he not won? Has he not overcome nihilism? In rebelling against meaningless, Sisyphus has a reason to live. And as my good friend Goat, who shares his channel with me, once said, I find the need for some grand reason to live basically an excuse to not live. I'm not perfect. I fall in love too fast and fall down too quickly. I fall asleep to the sunrise and wake up with the sunset. I burn popcorn and cry at happy moments and yet I have never stayed alive for so long. See, I've died before. And it was when I was perfect. When I never burned popcorn. When I had a sleep schedule. And my room was clean and I always showed my teeth. But back then, I never had those 3 a.m. thoughts. Where my emotions rocked me to sleep. Back then, the only thing keeping me from death were dreams of the future. The future where I do burn popcorn and frown at parties, and let the sunrise sing me lullabies. When people think of the future, they see robots and flying cars. And yet for me, I just see me breathing imperfectly for another day. Enough about me. I want you to stay alive. I want you to burn popcorn, tie ties, and wear the shirt you haven't worn. I want you to keep your word. And yell when you're not heard, I want you to hold their hand, and feel safe enough to stand. See, you have so many perfect things to ruin. And you insist on ruining the only imperfect thing you have. Stay alive for me. We could use more imperfections in our twisted little world. Stay alive.
alive for me, stay alive for your family, stay alive for your friends, for your dog, for your hamster, for the homeless man on the side of the road that sold you a smile when that's all you needed, but most importantly, stay alive for yourself. Because people in your life will come and go, but you will always remain. Stay alive for yourself. Do it just to feel the overwhelming proudness from within yourself. Do it so you can show yourself you're strong because all the cheesy quotes about suicide are true. Stay alive because Anna cares, because I care. Stay alive so you can break in old buildings and live your life being a reckless legend instead of a heading in a newspaper because I heard somewhere that people only like you if you're pretty or dead. Stay alive so you can show them wrong, but most importantly, show yourself that you were wrong because you were. Let your body and mind forgive each other so you can laugh and cry, smile, frown, because those things are all better than ending it, so don't. Stay alive. Once there was a time in my life where I woke up in the morning and the only thing I was looking forward for was going back to bed. But there comes a time in your life where you walk away from other drama and people who create it. You surround yourself with people who make you laugh. Forget the bad and focus on the good. Love the people who treat you right, pray for the ones who don't. Life is too short to be anything but happy. Falling down is just a part of life, but getting back up is living. And at this time I realized there isn't one big sense in life. There are some of the reasons you have to find for yourself to be happy. When you lie in the grass in summer and watch the world around you. You see the sky with the clouds or when it's completely blue. A ladybird is crawling on your hand and you can hear the trees which are moving slightly in the wind. I love honesty and with honesty I mean the look people make when they realize they're in love. The way they look when they first wake up and they've forgotten their surroundings. The gas they make when their favorite character dies. I fall in love with their breakdowns and their smeared makeup and their daydreams. Honesty is just too beautiful to put in words. I believe that at some time in my life I will meet a person. This person is on the same level as I am and we understand each other, whether we are in love or we're partners in crime. I'm here to tell you guys about my own personal reason to live. And that's my cat, Sassy. And you guys may think that's really cheesy and stupid, but to me, it means the world. No, we bought her off of this really cheap shop and she had kittens and she was a sad mother who thought that all her kittens were going to get taken away from her but that didn't make her sad because they were going to have a better life than her because she lived on train stations and the train engineer fed her. She's not really used to interacting with humans so she can't properly meow which is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> but I love her. Took me some time, but you know, we both began to love each other. In my darkest times, personally, she's always been there. And I always felt like, whenever I felt like I didn't have anybody, she came to me. And I remember when I used to self harm, every time I would go for the blade, she would be there if she was sleeping on the ground in my room or she was all the way downstairs. She would like just sense me in this terror and she would physically make me like stop. And that's like something I can't ever repay her for besides a constant happy life that we've both given each other. I know this is extremely cheesy, but I love her and I think if you guys let yourself, you can always love a pet because pets are special and you can have any kind, anything. Go adopt yourself a pet and stay alive everybody. Thanks. Hi everyone. Okay, so I know this video is well overdue, but um, I find it really difficult to pick these winners. There are only so there are six runner-ups for the video entries. There are obviously going to be three winners from the retweets. Um, but for these video entries, I loved absolutely all of these, and I find it so difficult to choose them. So I'm going to have a couple of my friends help choose what they think their top three are. I have what I believe are my top three, but I also want to know what you guys think 
are the top three or at least your favorite so do comment below which runner up is your favorite if you can pick three if not pick one on each of these entries i have linked um, with an annotation where these videos are from so their channels as well um but if you're on a mobile device then just if you want to see these full videos then just look at the description and, and those links will be up in order i hope everyone has a really good day and uh stay lucid stay alive <laughs>